My name's Mike Rolk, and this is my job. I explore the country looking for people who aren't afraid. Mike, it, uh, it's like a questionable one. You're going to need to go over and pick that egg up and, and smell it, see if it's rotten. It doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell good. I don't know what a healthy turn egg smells like. Okay, you see that crack there? Yeah. It's leaking. Oh, that it's, explains the smell. It explains the smell. Just terrible. Yeah. What do you do with it? Throw it over the side along with the rock. That way we don't recount it. So that goes there. And this goes with it. Oop. Burial at sea. Burial at sea. Your turn. Oh! Oh, right. Mike. Hello, kids. Now it's time to round up the baby chicks so we can do a little... These are crap encrusted numbers. Yeah. Stop, 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 stop! The last three numbers after the dash are 517. Here, we're sitting in crap, aren't we? Just yep. for the right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so this is a tiny little chick. He got a tiny little band on his tiny little foot. So which platform is this? Number two. Oh, God. What happened in platform number two? Nature. I see a lot of severed heads. Yeah. Plastic great horned owl predation. Even though the ropes deter most owls from landing here, some have figured out a way around this defense system. Why not make the squares smaller? It's probably going to be considered. This is just a massacre. Again, helter skelter in here. And of course, before you toss them overboard, we're going to need to know the band number. We're going to need to know what happened to who. You got it. This this common turn is was number 564. 513. Yeah. When did the massacre occur? Do we know? Sometime between last Wednesday and today. Imagine the horror they witnessed. People think of the owls as wise and old and... Killing machines. The killing machines, what That's they are. That's what they are. To everything, there's a turn. 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 While Joe searches for the geese in the air, Andrea and her crew rush ahead of the helicopter to set up nets. At the same time, my group moves into position to chase the birds on the ground. Well, obviously, our, our helicopter's in the air, which is ironic because our birds are on the ground. The uh, geese are too young to fly, and that's what makes this whole scenario work. We're going to try and flush them out. At this point, I'm just following yeah, Mark and Ashley and Doug and Lark. Yep. Oh, what's the sharp thing that slid through my pancreas? <laughs> you got to be a little aggressive. I have a bird pinned between my thighs, and I've nearly got my thumb in its bottom. How much more aggressive do you want me to be? Yeah, actually. See that? Oh, dear. Bring me Big Bird. I've been dying Bring to see what makes that thing tick. <laughs> that was, uh, that was the goose, I swear to God. You bad goose. Darn it. Oh, the humiliation. <laughs> I want so bad to go home. OK, anybody want to let go of a bird? Well, as trips go, this has been one for the books. I've been pooed on, I've been peed on, I've been thrown up on, I've made some good friends with some endangered species, and I've labeled them for the rest of their adult lives. Now I'm going to let them go, but not until I say thank you to all my friends at the Ohio Department of Wildlife. Thanks, guys. You are great. I should also thank you. You've been great. Thanks for not pecking my eyes out. Mice, snakes, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully no bats. What is your business exactly? My business. You got bats right on your shirt? Yes, sir. Uh, my business is closing old mine shafts. Uh, what I do is make bat friendly closures that keep people out, but let the bats continue to use the sites. How much room is going to be there in the, in the very bottom of this thing? Well, we're going to get friendly. It's kind of creepy, actually. <laughs> I mean, I barely met you. You seem like a nice fellow. I can't see your eyes. God, I mean, you know, you're going to go 50 feet down a hole. I'm going to say, these, these gloves have definitely, uh, definitely seen better days. You'd probably complain if you were hung with a new rope, wouldn't you? <laughs> It depends. Would I be well hung with a new rope? <laughs> so we're going to lay out a piece of plastic and we're going to pour some foam. Closing a mine in the backcountry presents a problem in that you can't just bring in a dump truck full of gravel. This foam has been used for about 30 years, closing old mines. It's a two-part resin. It's perfectly inert when it's done. Go ahead and set it down in the middle here. Now we've got these two chemicals mixing. And what I'd like you to do is grab opposite corners, come into the middle, like you're doing that disco dancing you like, and then go opposite corners until you have one you, color. You've got a lot of inaccurate information on me, but... Okay, so this is a chemical reaction. Yep, it's a chemical that? reaction, Thanks. and make a big uh, pad of it. There's too much in that spot. So it's like making a pancake here. We're yeah, we're making it. a giant pancake. Now, don't get it. Try not to get it on you, because it's going to make a mess. I don't want this stuff on me. It's pretty much, when you, if you get it on your hands, you're going to take flesh with it. Really? So you, this is, we're going to let this harden? We're going to let it harden before we stick it in a hole. That's what we call a tease. Okay. Hang on. Step through first? Step through, yeah. Hang on, hang on. As if the mere descent into a five-story pit of mystery wasn't dangerous enough, rocks and vegetation at the top of the shaft need to be cleared so they don't fall on us while we're down in the mine. You ever repelled before? I mean, besides I've, I've people? I've been repelling people yeah. for years. It's just it's terrible foreshadowing. Now, is, it, is it poison oak? I think the one next to it is. Yeah. Aren't we knocking all the poisonous stuff down to the area where we're going to be standing? Well, um, unfortunately, would you rather... That's killer. 
that's death. That, yeah, that, that's bad rock. Look at that. The harness works. Harness works. Good. Okay. No, I can feel it moving. It's good. So we're going to take a step or two down this way. Documents regarding these Northern California mines indicate that this particular tunnel was part of a network of about a dozen different shafts. An old beer can or three. And you really got to want to drink beer all the way down here. Okay. Now, we just came across something that is really dangerous. What's that? And we're stopping. See this water here? Mm -hmm. You can see that it goes way out there. Oh, yeah. Man, that goes way back. Yeah. Well, that's so clear. Right. We're actually looking at the bottom there, aren't we? Yeah, but is it 50 feet or is it, <laughs> or is it 10 feet? Right. Well, what? Rock. That hurt. <laughs> you do this for fun, you lunatic? This is where I would die if I were free climbing. This is it. How close are you, Mike? I'm about 10 feet. Why don't you guys haul me up? Rock, rock, rock. OK, here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Don't ever try that. Don't even, don't, don't. I'm telling you, don't. If you do it and something bad happens, I'll grieve you, but I will stay. Out of your secret pocket. It kind of looks like the country, except for Florida. It's jello jacked up. From here to there is a 4-3. Yeah, that's about right. So, right through Wisconsin. Man, I think I stink. Uh-oh. Yeah, you go. Mike, you see the biggest cracks around the edges? Yes. Sam is going to start throwing you pieces of um, bag and foam to stuff in the edges. Hey, that sounds great, Sam. There okay. you go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. You are the man. Bended by a quarter-inch rope over a bottomless pit with a quarter-inch of foam between me and oblivion. I never felt better. How's my butt looking these? Good? Good. I'm not quite ready. <laughs> not quite ready to bounce. We can't just put another one right on top of this. We have to let each one dry. Well, the problem is uh, surface temperature. We, we don't want it to build up too much heat. OK, bounce tested. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, All I need is my lucky hat. Oh, I have a idea. It's, it's way beyond personal now. And this thing has become a challenge to my whole, not my whole sense of self, my world view, everything. It's ridiculous. Be surprised how philosophical you can get with a shovel in your hand. Actually, I wouldn't. I believe you. 